Uh, Gunjan, uh, in your uh, when you were saying uh, about geography, one yes, very important thing which you have mentioned was uh, in paper two. Generally, you would say, you you said that the questions which they are asking those questions are yes, very, sir. <clears throat> so it's a challenge to make it geography specific. Yes, what sir. Yes, sir. Exactly which you have what exactly do you think you have done because of which those answers which are there in paper two became more geography centric. Yes, sir. so uh, my understanding of geography till now has been that paper 1 is the core geography like it is full of concepts it is full of the theories and the very core things that geography talks about and paper 2 is more of an applied aspect of uh, the exactly. geographical understanding that we have so what we can do is that we have learned the concepts the theories in our paper 1 and in the questions of paper 2 if we can relate and we can bring uh, we can import those theories and concepts so if we can interlink these uh, two things um, for example if uh, if i can quote like if there is a question on um, food processing industries like uh, the um, how food processing industries would boost uh, the rural economy and all those things if if it is on the same on those lines what we can do is um uh, uh, when we write about gs then we can write about like how food processing industries would help in the import export and how um they would uh, like they would provide more employment so we can we in gs answer we write on the generic terms like we think of a framework in our mind that we'll think of the stakeholders here and then we'll uh, write the answer but if we are talking about geography what we can do is we can import the concepts like the growth pole the spread effect the cube the breaking right. down of the cumulative causation theory and here uh, and because it is uh, the geography paper so if we can uh, make use of this space efficiently like if we can put some map like uh, um, i can put down i can make a small map of india and i can make uh, certain uh, plans like in punjab there is some uh, food processing plant going on and in assam also in northeast also we are trying to make a hub with seven plants and we can jot down those points and we can label a bit and we can write that this this scheme like sampada or this scheme is like running and that is how like we can uh, use make use of certain case studies and all these case studies all these maps all these things we can very clearly get from our prelims preparation like when we are preparing in prelims we um, constantly go through those those uh, current affair facts like a new food processing plant is being opened here or a new scheme related to food processing has come up so if we can gather all those points and we can jot down somewhere like we can make notes of uh, like put a heading and say case studies and uh, food processing industries and like four five examples down the line and then we can use these like case study examples so that is the way we can uh, in an applied aspect like a, a question which is all about applied aspects we can bring in geography moreover sir i think like for the students who are watching this uh, you might be thinking like okay so i have all those jargons the cumulative causation i have growth pole i, I can talk about the backward and the forward linkages but then how to uh, um, uh, how to write the answer so for this i think uh, we can uh, break our answer into small sub headings and that is how it gives the structure to our answer so like if uh, uh, i'll talk about the paper to here um so like if there is any question and it is saying critically analyze it saying discuss comment or whatever so firstly we have to see the keywords these would be our primary keywords if it is comment it it, it means that abhi abhi hamara views would be asked like what we are thinking about it that is will this plan work or not if it is critically analyzed we have to now think in when the pros and cons and then we have to come out okay so will this thing work or not so firstly that keyword we have to understand then we have we should understand the demand of the question like what it is asking that there would be some secondary keywords also like the uh, role of food processing industries in boosting economy so the word is here role of food processing industries so we have to understand that now in answer writing we should not write all that we know about food processing industries if it is the role of industries then we should focus on its importance and the significance and its role and maybe bit of challenges if critically analyzes come so we should do that now in structuring the answer what we can do is and e and yes sir i actually used this very knowledge of breaking down i learned this thing of breaking down my answer into subheadings in geography uh, um, uh, optional and i used this very thought uh, the uh, way of answer writing in other gs also